What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I'm gonna show you my Volter Colt Mark 18 built. So this thing's pretty sweet. My brother actually just built me the lower receiver and I'll have him come on in a second and tell you what's all internally. But we're gonna start from the front and go ahead and go back. So up top we have a standard birdcage flash hider. You actually have a silver thing here as well to just be able to like make sure the threading is pretty perfect. And then you have the beautiful Mark 18 rail system. You got the Daniel Events, Savannah, Georgia, um, then it has the rail, like the just this all the all the beautiful, all the goodness on this thing. So up here, I actually have a paracord tactical sling loop, basically because I didn't want to buy a Magpul uh, RSA because it was expensive and this was way lighter anyway, and I didn't want to have that front heavy stuff on here because I already have my flashlight. I got a jet beam weapon light mount. This is actually for my Claris XT11 flashlight, and I run that up here with a pressure switch and I run it through both of these. These are actually Manta rail covers. So inside this rail cover, you can see how there's that little divot. You can actually run wires through that. So I have a wire that runs through here and then it runs up through here and it's in here but in top with a pressure switch on. And I'm actually using that flashlight for another video and it's back at college right now. So I don't really, I didn't put it on, but right now I only do that right before the beginning of a video in a sense. So we got XTM panels right here, Magpul. You can see that I got the FDE as well as the black and then the pink on this side because my grandma has breast had breast cancer as well as my aunt. So it's just really something that's really terrible. And it's actually breast cancer awareness month too, which is pretty cool. I have a Magpul AFG2 in tan as well down here on the bottom. You can tell the difference between the AFG1 and the AFG2 because the AFG1 is longer and a little bit bigger. They both have very similar feels, but this one's a little bit smaller for those of you that may not know the difference. Moving back here, I have a Trijicon SRS Repro. This is actually a site some of you may have seen. Most of you probably have seen this and been like, whoa, that's super cool. SEAL Team 6 operator, bruh. But no, this is actually a really cool site. I really love it. It's not the greatest quality as in like it, this is already coming loose on the top uh the front kind of unscrewed but i got it for like 60 bucks off ebay so i don't really care it's got a really nice quick detach thing which i really like that's the probably the greatest thing about it so i can throw it on there i can even do it one-handed and then like just quick detach it that's super cool up top with upper receiver this is actually very hard to find this is a gmp mirror one volter upper receiver and you can tell it right there mirror one volter weapon systems you got a freaking america flag because that's the best and then on this back side you have a volter sword as well as if you want to go ahead and like sign that qr code or like scan that qr code or whatever but the coolest thing this is actually an upper you guys most likely have seen before the coolest thing is my brother actually got a, his hands on a gmp colt lower just take a minute to look into that that is that is pure beauty right there property of u.s government m16a1 cal 556 millimeter and then you have colt's firearm division colt industries hartford connecticut usa safe semi happy switch Really, really cool. Really excited for this gun. I will go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tidbit of how like... So it's just got really nice trigger response. Full auto is about 20 rounds a second. <sighs> I'm mainly a semi-automatic guy. Those of you that know my Polar Star know that I love the uh, speed trigger and I love fast rate of fire and some specifically in semi-automatic. So it's just really cool that he was able to build that. He actually built this for me and gave it to me for my Christmas and birthday combined, even though neither have happened yet. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna let him go ahead and come on and talk about the internals and then I'll bring it back with the externals. So I'm gonna call my Tacta Elf Big over to the situation hey kids. room and go ahead and so, talk about it. So I built this gearbox. Um, so to start off, the gear set in here is a Gen 4 SHS 12 to 1 gear set. We have an Echo 1 shell. We have SHS trigger contacts, matrix 8 millimeter bushings, uh, g g piston, SRC M100 spring. I'd recommend probably an M110 in here to get the FPS up. Um, he'll go over the FPS. SRC M100, SHS metal nozzle with great compression, it's O-ringed, and a JG Red motor with JVU magnets in here, so neo magnets, and that helps it give it torque plus efficiency with the Matrix 11 one. Oh, wow, that's that right? cool. It's probably really like awkward for <laughs> like freeze frame that like. <laughs> so yeah, pretty sweet. It actually sees at 310 FPS, I believe, with a 0.2. Yeah, 20 rounds a second. Just pretty much a beast. Pretty, pretty sick. So I run GMP mags. These are the Skull Frog mags or Evike mags or whatever. Basically, the best magazines in the world hold like 150 rounds. Inside, we have a uh, Lonex hop up chamber. I think this is things like 15 bucks. It's pretty good. And inside, I also have an Orga R hop. Normally, I use my Polar Star. That's why I have the Orga. Also, doesn't really help this because this isn't like a super compression build or DMR build. It kind of loses some FPS in there. So it's fine, but it's really cool because I can use my Polar Star lower on this upper as well and then kind of just 
changes. I might have another inner barrel setup that I might use for the AEG, but this thing shoots really accurately. I'm shooting about 150 feet. It's not as accurate as my Polar Star, but it's just, it's like, I, I, I really like, I'm, I'm kind of going, kind of falling in love again with like the AEGs, especially those high speed AEGs that are really, really well done. You can just have a lot of speed with the gun as well as just create that sort of like good accuracy, that good range. And then you don't have to carry the tank. The tank, I like, I love my matte pack. It holds the tank well, but just having that extra freaking five pounds on the back of your plate carrier all day gets a little annoying and then having that line i can't tell you how many times i have a really great amp line and it runs really flush to my body but i'll still get it stuck on trees or something i'm just kind of excited to have a little bit of a backup aug as a secondary which is pretty sweet so i have my chris costa velcro on the back here too just as a, like i like i really think it's comfortable for those of you that have never seen this before it's a really comfortable cheek well you can see sort of that i have it on there and it's just like i just want to rub my face on it while i shoot but yeah it's actually very comfortable i prefer to do the entire thing and i will do that later <laughs> that was stupid i know oh well i have a dual sling attachment point on here just in case like one of my friends wanted to use it and they're lefty i mean it's an m4 it doesn't have anything ambi on it right now but I have it on this right side. This is really nice. So if I want to use my Magpul sling as well, I can use it. I usually have my two points Magpul uh, MS3 sling, I believe. That's what it is. There's so many different numbers. And let, uh, I think it's I think it's MS3. I don't think it's MS4 or two. Um, but I'll just have it sling here, and then I can go like that, and then I can change it to a one point as well, which is really nice. Yeah, Sima stock basic pistol grip. I don't think anything else on here is special. It's just the back's pretty basic. I might put a different stock on here. Might change the pistol grip out to a Magpul MOE, but this gun is a beast. I'm in love with it. Hopefully you guys think this is a sweet Mark 18 build. Once again, I'll get that semi on that. Can't even do that. I have a pull, like, like that's better, but I freaking like use, I'm used to my Polar Star speed trigger where it's like, and like there literally is like ounces that you have to pull the thing. This is already pretty light, but yeah. See you guys later. Operator, out.